Sevgili izleyenler, Londra Mahallesi sıradaki haberle devam ediyor. Geçtiğimiz hafta Bunga Bunga Land adlı müzikalde Osmanlı motifleri sahnede seyirciyle buluştu. Kostüm tasarımını Esengül Şaşı'nın yaptığı müzikal Mozart müzikleriyle keyifli bir şölene dönüştü. Müzikale gelenlere fikirlerini sorduk. Fantastic opportunity for young singers and a real chance to see the emerging young singers. Fantastic Constance of that. Really really wonderful. Um, I like it very much. It's great. And um, I really like that it's locally, that it takes for me five minutes to come here, and I enjoy it. I really loved it. I think it was very, very well performed, um, and I'm very impressed. I'm very happy that I came. I just loved the whole thing. I thought it was performed very well. The The acting was very good. I liked how it was so current as well with some of the the jokes they were having in the performance. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was great. Well, when the curtains opened, it was beautiful. The lighting was fine for such a nice, simple, clever set. And I enjoyed that very much. And it lasted the whole way through and was perfect with the changing of the lighting. So, well, thanks, thanks for coming. Um, basically, what we try to do here is it's a very difficult opera because it is written actually in a time when Turkey and, and Austria <laughs> were in a war. And what I find most amazing about this opera and about Mozart is the fact that it turns your conceptions. So you think the Turkish or the, you know, Oriental, that, that world that for the Western we, we don't know, they're going to be the, the bad boys. But actually you find out that the main character, who is the Pasha, turns out to be a very, very noble character. So this is what I try to to find so that I come with this idea of Bunga Bunga Land. It's, it's, it's, a <laughs> it's a territory in between the parties of Silvio Berlusconi and the imagination of, of, of what we see about actually Middle East. Müzikalin yönetmeni ilgiden memnun olduklarını söyledi. I am an actor. I come from Brazil, and uh, it is my first experience with opera. And so it was it was challenging. It was uh, difficult in some ways because um, it was being on stage without having anything to say. We're, we're not able to sing. I'm not a, an, an opera singer, so I had to be reacting to uh, what my colleague Claire. Uh, who played Constanza was singing. So it was about finding those reactions and at the same time bring, f thinking about them and finding them physically. So it was an interesting um, experience. Kostümleri Osmanlı hareminden esinlenerek tasarladığını belirten Esengül Şaşı, müzikale ilişkin şunları söyledi. Yaklaşık bir aydır bu projeyle ilgili çalışıyorum. Hatta bunun için Türkiye'ye gittim. Bazı tül kumaşlar almak için. E, haremle ilgili biliyorsunuz e, haremi görmeye gittim maalesef harem boştu boş buldum ama e, daha önceki izlediğim filmlerden yaptığım araştırmalardan haremi az çok biliyoruz e, oryantel bir şey e, sahne istemişlerdi sahne tasarım istemişlerdi oryantel birazcık oryantel e, kostüm istemişlerdi ben de bunun üzerinde çalışma yaptım ya kostümlere gelecek olursak da çok az detay kullandım yani Osmanlı'yı an, anlatacak sembolik detaylar kullandım. İşte bunlar fez, e, dansöz kemeri ve kaftan. Bunda işe yaradığını gördüm. Oyuncular gayet relaxtı. Sanırım bu doğru seçimdi benim açımdan. Çünkü izleyiciler de beğendi. Oyuncular da çok beğendiler kostümlerini. Umarım çok güzel bir oyun çıkarmışızdır.
Good.